In this video, I will escort you through implementing a simple sine wave using Microsoft Power BI. And we will make it an animated visual also. So first, we're gonna know the equations that we need and the variables to do the sine wave, as you can see. For doing the sine wave, we have to identify the frequency value and the angular frequency omega and the seconds per sample dt and the uh, seconds or the cycle interval t. Then the sine equation, it will be a sine function multiplying the omega by t value. So let us do this together. In this demo, we will not need any external data source, uh, but of course you can use your own data source after understanding the mechanism of doing the sine wave. So we will do it using the parameters. So we'll go modeling, and make a new parameter to identify the range of the interval, the time. Of course, you can do it using the generate series function instead. So we will call this parameter t, and the t type will be fixed decimal, starting from zero and ending with two, and increment with 0.05, and the default is two. We will not need a slicer in the page, and make okay. As you can see, we have now our column of the time from 0 to 2 and uh, done with the generate series function. You can do it, of course, using this function. And we will go back and uh, make our new measure omega. Will be 2 multiply by the pi function, which is, if you can see, will return uh, the value of pi, 3.1415 and so on. And we will multiply it by our frequency here is one. So we have now our measure omega. Uh, we need to make the calculated column for the sine values. New column, we will call it the sine and it will be the sine function and it will be omega multiplied by the t column. So if you come here, you will see the sine values and the time interval uh, in front of every value. So the rest here is to implement it using the uh, the compo chart or the line at the cluster column. And we will put in the line values, our sign values, and the T column in the shared axis. Now you got your sign simple wave. Now I will put also the sign wave in the column values and make some formatting. In the data color, I will make the line orange and go to the shapes to have our marker on. Of course, if you like to make it as a stepped, you can enable this function to have it in a step way. Okay, done with this. So the second thing is that we need to make it animated. So we will go to the visuals, custom visuals and import the play visual. Okay, we will use the play and put the, the values of the time. Okay, but before uh, running the play animated, set the effect of filtration by going to format, edit interaction, and highlight on the highlight icon, and then run. And here you go, you have your animated sine wave, simple sine wave visual. So I hope this uh, will uh, help you in your uh, reports and added a new idea for you. Thank you and see you in the upcoming video.